All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining on this video session today. So this is 31st of May and this is a Monday. So today I decided to record a video session instead of doing a live stream because uh, there is no trend today and I would like to take time myself to read books and also uh, to edit some information on my website. So today is a quick video but hopefully you learn something new from my video session today. And today's topic is about which pair not to take trace. Because oftentimes, whenever you see books or videos, people talk about which pair to take trace, which one is a good setup to take trace. But myself, um, I think uh, which one to take trace is important, but at the same time, which one not to take trace is also very important so that you can avoid these uh, um, unnecessary trace or unnecessary time to, to look at the markets because it's all about time, effici time efficiency so um, if you cannot be time efficient then uh, you cannot run profits as you wish and also uh, you might be ending up with looking chart all day long but no trace so you have to be really precise on which pair to take trace and which pair not to take trace and this is the topic for today's video session so before standing here just a quick disclaimer this information today is basically based on my own understanding so when you take trace please do with your risk management so, um, let me start from the Euro JPY. And so I look at the daily chart or forward chart and which one, which time frame is trending to see markets. And also, I look at the lower time frames to see which one can confirm the trend direction. So, here is the Euro JPY, and this is on the daily chart. And as per as, as far as the daily chart, I can see that the Kumo is up, the Senko Span B flat, but Senko Span A is moving up at the moment, and the Kijun Sen is also moving up this way. And Chiko Span above the candles, and price is above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo here. So this is bullish, obviously. This is bullish, but I don't take any trace today because it's been retracing or consolidating at the moment. So, um, one of the confirmations why this is consolidating is that the uh, the price after the bullish candlestick on this uh, 27th of May, um, it made bullish, but afterwards it's been consolidating for the last two trading days. So, uh, t 20th of May and also today, the 31st of May, it's been ranging and consolidating right now. So, although I see the Kumo's up and Kijun's up this way and Chikou's spun above the candles, this is not the timing to enter the market because uh, it's consolidating and also this is an engulfing structure. Engulfing meaning that the uh, this bullish candle high and low has been including the future candles and this is an engulfing pattern in the market and when I see the retracement consolidating market and also when I see this engulfing market then I don't take any trades so that's one thing that is very important to keep in mind so um, you might think that but the Kumo is up so Kijun Sen is up Chikou spun of the candles. So, um, you think that you might think that the market keeps going up this way. And this might be true. This might be true. However, the fact is that the price has been consolidating for the last previous uh, high and low here, and it's been retracing backwards now. So, in this situation, the market can go backwards to the Tenkan Sen initially. And once, once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, 
then it can go down all the way down to Kijun Sen. And in this situation, I don't look for any trading edges. So, Ichimoku lines are very important, but at the same time, the candlestick patterns are also very important too. So we have to see market in different time frames and also different angles like this, and you cannot really believe on one indicator or one of the confirmations. It should be done based on these multiple views of market, multiple analysis, the angles, and also multiple confirmations on the market itself. So, once again, if I simply pick up the daily chart, then I see the Kumo's up and Kijun Sen up here and Chikou Span above the candles and price itself is above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo here. So, when I see this situation, then I simply say that this is bullish and I say I expect the market breaks upwards this way. But I don't say that it can happen anytime soon. It might take a bit days, a couple of days here or weeks even. It might take a couple of weeks until it breaks up or this way too. And that's exactly what I mean by this uptrend. So um, when you hear uptrend, then you might think that the market keeps going up this way. But to me, it's not true. Because if you see the uptrend in the past here on the Euro JPY, it has been uptrending here as a result. But um, when it's uptrending like this way, the market consolidates. The market retraces backwards in here uh, on this on the on the day of 6th of May. The market bounced off of the Kijun Sen and went up this way. And over here, the market was supported by this Tenkan Sen and continuously went up this way. So from here, for now, this is bullish, so I expect the market goes up this way, that's true. But at the same time, in my mind, I, I also think that the market could retrace backwards to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen this way. So if it bounces based on the Tenkan Sen, then it goes up this way, or if it bounces with the Kijun Sen, then it can go up like this way too. And to be honest, um, I'm not sure which one happens in the future, in the new future, this week. Or it can even break the previous high upwards this way without touching the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen too. So this is very important is that the, uh, I say this is uptrending, but um, it doesn't mean that it keeps going up this way along the way. It can consolidate, it can retrace backwards, and it can go up continuously. And you have to have these two mindset always. If the market keeps going up this way, then what would you do? And if the market retraces backwards to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, then when would you buy? Is the next question. And I say this because um, when I became when I was still a part-time trader and full-time worker, I thought that if I become a full-time trader, then I thought that I will be having opportunities every day. But actually that wasn't true. That wasn't true. Um, even after I became a full-time trader, I have of course time to screen chart every day, almost like 24 hours if possible. Uh, you can screen charts all day long and you can continuously look for the edges to, to take trades. If you're a part-time job, if you're a part-time trader and full-time job, then uh, the screening time could be only two hours or three time, three hours, or it could be less than five hours per day. And in that condition, you might feel that you're losing the opportunities, but to me, it wasn't true actually. And I prove it because uh, I because that wasn't the case after I became a full-time trader from part-time trader. So uh, and that's why I say that I check charts 
three times to five times a day. And if I don't see any trading markets or trading edges, then simply I stay away from the markets. And this is, I think, the part of discipline that is important to keep in mind if you wish to become a full-time trader. Because um, once again, even if you become a full-time trader, it doesn't mean that you have opportunities every day. Um, it actually up to the strategy, but um, myself, I feel I felt more comfortable becoming being a uh, swing trader, day to swing trader, now scalping, and that's why I say that I don't find opportunities every day. But if you're a scalper, then you can find opportunities every day for sure. So obviously, it depends on uh, the your trading style also. But uh, at the same time, you better expect that you don't have opportunities every day after becoming a full-time trader, because I think that's the truth. So once again here, in this condition, I don't even Look at the chart today on this Euro JPY because it's consolidated, consolidating and the price could go down to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. But at the same time, in my other mind, I still think, think, still think that this is uptrending, so I expect the market breaks the previous resistance line and goes upwards continuously. And to be more precise, I also look at the, uh, the forward chart and as per forward chart, this is too bullish because the Senko Span B is flat but Senko Span A is gradually moving up and also Kijun Sen is also pointing upwards this way Chikou Span above the candles so this is too bullish so it can go up continuously this way too but here the market has been consolidating right now so it could retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen and it may bounce the Kijun Sen and it goes up this way too. So this is a scenario in the 4 hour chart time frame based on the Ichimoku confirmations. And then also I look at the 1 hour chart. So I see charts in multiple time frames of Ichimoku to confirm which one to be in the trade and which one not to be in the trade. So once again if you look at the one hour chart over here, this is a clear flat market. You can find the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen has been flat. And also Chikou Span is touching the candles. And what's more, we have this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen did cross here. So the market could go down into the Kumo here in this case. So unless the market so from here, I create a scenario is that the uh, um, I expect the market goes up this way because higher time frames are still showing uptrend. So if the market goes up this way, then it can break the Kijun Sen upwards in one hour chart and then Kumo can go up afterwards and also the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross can happen if the market goes up this way and Tenkan Sen goes up this way and Kijun Sen can point upwards too. Kijun Sen can, can point upwards this way and then Chikou Span breakout can happen. And then finally, I look for the buy chance even in lower time frames. I want to be exact on the trading spot, trading edge and I look at the 5 or 15 minute time frames but at the same time, I see the market on this bigger picture and if it happens, then I look for the buy chance. But right now, I don't look for any buy chance because the market is ranging on this mid time frame. So let me show the 30 minute chart also. And 30 minute chart is down trending at the moment, Kumo's down. Kijun Sen pointing downwards, Chikou Span is below the candles, or this is still very close with the candles and this is ranging market. So, in the third main chart, it's, it has been consecutive bearish in the waves, 
so it can go down continuously this way. So as per 30 minute time frame, unless the market breaks the Kumo upwards this way, and unless the market, unless the Kumo twists bullish this way, and Kijun Sen turns upwards, and Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross happens at some point, and Chikospun break out of the Kumo Kijun Sen, and also this candlestick happens, then finally, I look for the buy chance too. Otherwise, I will be staying away from the market. And I created this scenario because, as we said earlier, the daily chart is uptrending. The daily chart is uptrending, so I expect the market goes up this way continuously. And once again, I can see that there is an engulfing inside bars. And once it breaks, it can continuously go up this way. But here, I don't take trades, I don't even look for the trading edge because it's been consolidating. So this is very patient and we have to look for an exact, exact trading edge in lower time frames. So unless, once again, in one hour chart goes up this way, or 30 minute chart turns up this way, I will simply stay away from the markets. So, so once again, um, if you wish to become a full-time trader, please keep in mind that you don't look, you don't have opportunities every day to take trades. Especially if you want to become a day to swing trader, then it's possible that you don't look for any trades every day. When you see the market consolidating, like this on the Forex market, then simply no trades. Or in even stock markets, indexes, or commodities, gold, or silver, or platinum, or even cryptos. When you see the flatness, when you see the consolidating market, then no trades. Until you find a bullish confirmation in the mid time frame is the key to success. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video session. If you liked it, please press the good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day on my YouTube channel. So today was a video session because uh, there is no, no trend at the moment and also I wanted to take time for myself to read books and also rest because I had a big day. So if that's the case, I upload a video on this YouTube channel, but um, if time permits, then I will do the live streams on my YouTube channel. But in any ways, hopefully you can enjoy my sessions and learn something new from my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching until the end, and please press the like button, and I will see you on the next one. So until I see everyone next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright, bye for now everyone. Matane. Thank you.